it's always, I forget to put a hat on and it ends up looking like this when we do a late night video. So I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm Chad, I'm a pastor here in Louisiana and I've been reading the Bible in 30 days and today I'm in like my last couple of days and the video today is about the book of Acts. Now on this day of the shred reading, you, you read more than just Acts. You went deeply into Romans. You also kind of finished up some of John. But as I said in the last video, when we get into the New Testament, it really means that uh, I want to section off some of these videos. And that's kind of why uh, the, the, the uploading schedule has just been a little erratic because it's just getting the videos made, um, among all the other sorts of things. But the book of Acts, I think the book of Acts was the first part of the Bible I was genuinely fascinated with when I first started reading it as an adult, not as a kid. And I love how Acts really tells the stories about two people, and it tells the story of change of two people. It tells the story of the change of Peter in his life. It tells the story of the change of Paul in his life. And what I'm glad I did this year, because this is probably the, maybe the second or third time I've read through through Acts once I understood this, but this this hair is actually really, really bad. This is this is 10 o'clock at night here. <laughs> um, but this is probably the second or third time since I've done this is realizing there's a lot of time elapsing in Acts. Uh, we read it, we kind of think this is happening over the course of just a handful of years, but we're really talking decades of stuff here. And I've always had a lot of questions about Acts. Like, I want to know more about James. We, we know, we've seen James' book, James the half-brother of Jesus. We see James showing up. It makes me wonder, why is Peter not a bigger person than he actually is? Uh, what makes Peter, but Peter doesn't appear to be the head of any of these churches or these people. We see James, the half-brother of Jesus, who was not one of the disciples, although he is counted in with the 70. And then we see Paul in these three missionary journeys. And what I love about the story of Acts is this. This is kind of what I want to talk about today in this video, because it's going to be a quick one. Uh, but I challenge you to read Acts and try to find this is a couple of things. One, you know, the church has always argued about what defines true belief and true faith. Uh, you know, in our world right now, we are absolutely wrapped up in all sorts of discussions and conversations and debates and arguments about, is this Christian? Is this not Christian? And we're seeing what seems to be to some folks, just a massive, huge fracturing of things. But we find that also in the book of Acts. And I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna be all right. I'm not gonna pull that line. But what I'm saying is, the church since its beginning has had to have these conversations about what does it mean to be a Christian? And what does it mean to be a Christian in light of particular circumstances or situations or those sorts of things? So we see this happen in Acts. Uh, as it goes to Gentiles receiving the Holy Spirit and the unbelief that the Jewish Christians thinking that the Gentiles could receive the Holy Spirit. We see arguments over circumcision. We see all sorts of things like that. So think about that. Like what you see in the news cycle right now about how the church is dealing with abortion, how the church is dealing with issues of inclusion, in the LGBTQ community, how the church is dealing with racism. Um, all these things the church needs to talk about, how the church deals with sexual harassment, especially and, uh, and abuse inside of the church, all of these things, we've had to talk about this before. And the New Testament actually shows the church working through so many of these things. So that's the first thing about Acts. And I'm, I'm not making a statement on anything. What I'm just telling you is this is not new. The second thing is about specifically about Paul and his ministry. And what I love is you see Paul's missional strategy begin to develop and to begin to unfold. You see how he does mission, how he does evangelism. You see Paul believing deeply in the idea of influence and being a person of influence and knowing how to talk with people of influence. So uh, read Acts and all the ways that Paul interacts with the kings and the governors and all the folks that are trying him. Watch how Paul interacts with them. We almost can say that Paul intentionally got into trouble in Jerusalem so he could appeal to the emperor. We know, we know he's been wanting to go to Rome in the book of Romans. 
What better, better way to go to Rome, go to, to get to Rome on the empire's coin, and to get an audience with Caesar himself? And what we find out is Paul typically does pretty well when he's talking in front of these people. And so some folks would write off Acts. They say it's just history or it's not this, but I don't don't write off Acts. Uh, Realize that Acts is about the power of the Holy Spirit, but Acts is also about the development of the church, the development of mission and evangelism. It's a peek into those first handful of decades to where the Christian church breaks away from being just this specific form of Judaism that's practiced in Jerusalem. Um, there's some really interesting biographies of James and that sort of stuff that talks about that. But to this global religion, this global movement of Jesus, this global look at what the kingdom of God looks like. And I think it's also an interesting uh, middle point between seeing what the gospels and how those stories are told and then seeing theology done. Um, because theology being done is, in the ways that it happens in all of the epistles and the letters, is not something we see so much in the Old Testament. We'll see it maybe in Deuteronomy and some places like that. But we about, we're about to jump into seeing theology be done and be worked out. So that's the book of Acts. We're going to come back tomorrow with a video about all of Paul's letters. That's what we're going to do. All of Paul's letters. And I will see you back in that one.